Starship is achieving extraordinary milestones, paving the way for SpaceX to focus on future goals. Among these objectives is addressing how astronauts will live during their journeys in space. To explore this question, we step inside Starship, where a utopian vision of life in space is beginning to take shape. Just how incredible is the space inside Starship? Let's find out in today's episode of Great SpaceX. We are witnessing Starship, a pioneering rocket system shaping the future of space exploration, making extraordinary strides. These include controlled vertical landings, initial catches using the Megazilla arm, and more groundbreaking achievements. With this momentum, Elon Musk has set bold goals. Launching the first crewed mission to Mars within the next four years and returning humans to the moon for the first time in over half a century within the next two years. These ambitious milestones underscore the critical importance of building a crewed version of Starship. Recently, a rare glimpse into the interior of Starship revealed its current state, a stark, primitive space featuring stainless steel walls lined with pipes. The challenge of transforming such a space into a habitable environment for astronauts is immense, but many innovative ideas have been proposed. Among them, the concept of a six-floor design stands out, showcasing how the payload compartment would be optimized into an unprecedented system for living and working in space. This visionary design divides the interior into six distinct floors, each dedicated to a specific function. Starting from the lowest level, this area would serve as a warehouse storing cargo, payloads, vehicles, and essential equipment for both life on board and scientific research. It would also house the power control systems that supply energy to the spacecraft. Locating these functions on the lowest floor is both practical and efficient, given its proximity to the spacecraft's fuel tanks. This placement minimizes the impact on the crew's living areas while facilitating seamless integration of the spacecraft's systems. The second floor would focus on sustaining life through agriculture, functioning as a miniature farm. This space could be used to grow crops and store food supplies, providing fresh produce to enhance the crew's meals during extended missions. Tending to plants could also serve as a calming and morale-boosting activity for astronauts. A dining area would likely be included here, consolidating food-related activities into a single efficient space. Physical health would take center stage on the third floor, which would feature an exercise area equipped with machines similar to those found on Earth. Maintaining cardiovascular health, muscle strength, and mobility in a microgravity environment is crucial for astronauts, and this space would ensure they have the necessary tools to stay fit. Bathrooms and toilets might also be conveniently located here, as this floor would see frequent activity. The fourth floor would provide private sleeping quarters, arranged in a circular layout. These rooms would be spacious enough to ensure comfort and privacy, offering astronauts a personal retreat for rest and relaxation. Above the sleeping area, the fifth floor would serve as the main communal living space. This expansive area could accommodate research activities, meetings, and leisurely pursuits. A standout feature of this level would be a large window system, offering breathtaking views of outer space and fostering a tangible sense of exploration and adventure. Finally, the top floor, situated near Starship's header tanks, would house the central control area. This critical workspace would manage the spacecraft's systems and serve as a hub for specialized operations and mission planning. It could also double as a meeting room for astronauts to strategize and discuss objectives. Connecting these six floors would be a central staircase or elevator system, ensuring a cohesive and functional design. The cylindrical layout would make efficient use of the available space, creating a streamlined and interconnected environment. With a payload compartment measuring approximately 20 meters in height, SpaceX has devised a compact yet comprehensive system. As Starship evolves in future iterations, like the V3 model, its height could extend to 150 meters, with the payload compartment potentially expanding to 70 meters. Such advancements would allow for even greater capacity, accommodating more crew members and systems. 
The vision of creating a self-contained world within Starship may have seemed like science fiction to previous generations, but with SpaceX's rapid progress, it is becoming an attainable reality. Imagine being part of a community living in such a spacecraft, embarking on journeys to other planets. If given the opportunity, would you seize the chance to live in this extraordinary environment? Share your thoughts, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking developments. Of course, the journey to realizing this vision will require gradual progress, and SpaceX is already making strides in this direction. Right now, inside the new Starship, there is just a simple PEZ dispenser and simulated payloads. Perhaps the system and payloads will be gradually upgraded later. While it may not seem directly related to the crew, I believe optimizing these systems will provide valuable experience for building living spaces in the future. In fact, the crew system is already being developed, as shown in the design of the Starship HLS. Last year's update revealed that the HLS has a two-level configuration. The upper floor includes control systems, crew bunks, life support systems, storage, and more while the lower floor will house payloads, equipment, dining areas, and training facilities. A staircase in the center connects the two floors. This design serves as inspiration for the future crewed Starship version. During the Flight 4 livestream, a glimpse of the Starship HLS's airlock corridor was revealed, showcasing a neat, modern black-and-white aesthetic. This design could also be applied to the crewed Starship. But rather than discarding such a valuable asset, why not repurpose it as a foundation for a lunar base? One potential idea is to transform Starship into a base. As we know, Starship HLS will bring humans to the moon, and after completing the mission, it'll return the crew to lunar orbit, where they will transfer to Orion for their journey back to Earth. Unfortunately, the HLS will be abandoned afterward. What a missed opportunity, right? We all recognize that establishing a long-term settlement on the moon will require significant effort. If we were to start from scratch, it'd take a great deal of time, effort, and money. So why not repurpose Starship into a base? With a vehicle already designed for crew, it makes sense perfect sense, if any, to use it for this purpose. Compared to other methods, this approach seems to offer greater potential across the board. The main challenges would involve ensuring enough fuel for HLS to launch and land again, as well as transitioning it from a vertical to a horizontal orientation. But once these hurdles are overcome, we could quickly establish a basic base on the moon, making future landings more efficient. This model could also serve as a blueprint for building the first base on Mars, with Elon Musk and his team leading the charge. Back on Earth, Starship's versatility could also enable it to function as a space station. The idea of a Starship-based space station has been discussed for some time. By removing components like fuel tanks, a single Starship could provide an unprecedented amount of space, surpassing any current or planned station. However, this station wouldn't consist of just one starship, it'd be a system of interconnected starships, enabling it to support more people, payloads, and systems. This setup would dramatically enhance the efficiency of research and exploration. But in order to realize these transformative systems, SpaceX must first achieve several critical milestones. A top priority for SpaceX is perfecting landing methods for both stages of Starship. While ocean landings have proven successful, reusable systems like Megazilla captures or drone ship recoveries are essential for Starship's long-term goals. Significant progress has been made with Megazilla captures for the Super Heavy Booster, but similar success is needed for the ship stage to fully realize Starship's potential. Another critical milestone is developing a reliable in-orbit refueling system, enabling Starship to travel farther and achieve its ambitious objectives. SpaceX has already planned refueling demonstrations, marking an important step toward this capability. Expediting the deployment of specialized Starship variants, such as HLS and the crewed model, is equally crucial. Rigorous test missions will refine their designs and provide valuable data for future upgrades. These efforts, alongside tackling various technical and logistical challenges, will lay the groundwork for Starship's transformative role in space exploration. As SpaceX continues to innovate, 
the future of space exploration is being redefined within the framework of this remarkable rocket. Starship is poised to create unprecedented systems where humans can live and work comfortably, transforming the spacecraft from a mere vehicle into a dynamic and versatile habitat. These advancements will revolutionize humanity's journey into space, offering a vision of a rocket that does far more than just transport people and goods. Although Starship's development has sparked debates, its extraordinary potential sets it apart from any other rocket system. With the ingenuity of SpaceX's engineers and the visionary leadership driving the project, Starship holds the promise of reshaping humanity's relationship with space. The challenges ahead are formidable, but the possibilities are boundless and undeniably worth pursuing. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.